Wes Skiles gained international notoriety by helping to map out and capture on film some of Florida's deepest underwater caverns. He died this past summer during a photo shoot for National Geographic off the coast of South Florida. In attendance at today's special ceremony were his brother, widow, and children, along with a wide variety of diving buddies and officials with the State Department of Environmental Protection. Jim Stevenson is the former coordinator for the Florida Springs Working Group. He worked closely with Skiles on several initiatives to protect Florida's natural springs. Stevenson says Skiles' legacy lies in the many underwater dive films he produced. His legacy is in his outstanding films. Polluting the Fountain of Youth in 1998, Protecting Florida Springs in 2001, Spirit of the Ishtakni in 2002, Water's Journey Hidden Rivers in 2003, and The Springs Heartland in 2008. Stevenson says Skiles spent every day of his life working to save the springs and would encourage other people to do the same. Wes did his part. We owe it to our good friend to do our part. Listen, I can hear him prodding and encouraging us to do more to protect our springs. Several of you have been actively doing your part for many years, but the rest of you need to dive into the action. He outlines some of the steps people can take. And if you'd like to do something in Wes's memory, then do something for a Florida spring. You can make a difference. I have a list that I can send you of things you can choose from. But there are just a couple examples that I'll offer right now. If there's a spring in your county, take your county commissioner to see it. Buy the Protect Florida Spring specialty license tag. If you live in a spring shed, stop fertilizing your lawn and take a child to see a spring. Wes will be grateful and a spring will whisper thank you. Wes Skiles' brother, James, says his brother never worked for his own personal gain, only for the greater good of the springs. Wes would be thrilled and, and, and he would probably have some uh, humorous line to say and say he didn't deserve it, you know, uh, someone like his mom or dad, my parents, uh, taught him to give back to the community and, and that's what he was about. It wasn't about, you know, uh, making a name for himself, it was about protecting the land water for future generations. During the ceremony, his brother explained just how much Peacock Springs meant to Wes. He referred to uh, Peacock Springs as the heart of cave diving. And so today, I think it's appropriate to say that the heart and the soul of cave diving <laughs> will always be remembered now as West Skiles Peacock Springs State Park. Just above the spring where Wes would often cave dive, DEP officials unveiled the sign that officially renames the park. It now reads Wes Skiles Peacock Springs State Park. Right. For Florida's 89.1, I'm Trent Kelly.